Hi, it's Karen. And Tim. <laughs> and Tim. From Stepping on the Backboard. Hi. <laughs> and it is time. Thank you so much for joining us for our Thursday Live. Today, it's going to be another day all about the paper. Now, the paper I'm working with is the one that's coming out in celebration. But what I, so I'm going to, there's a little preview card. So I think, isn't this just adorable? But the point of today's thing is to pick any pattern paper that actually has some things in it that you can either fussy cut some images or that you can punch out or do something like that. Or, and we're going to make really quick cards. So this is still a create along with us. And then our challenge, our weekly challenge will be to show any of those that you create over in the backport stampers. So that is wonderful. So glad to have you guys here. We always start with mail and today I'm going to start with a story about mail because it really, this is a card. It's not, um, it's not a hand stamp card, but I just had to tell you though, the power of a card and doing something. So we have a young woman moved in across the street. Beyond grateful. Yeah, that's sweet. Moved in across the street a couple of years ago and she became a single mom a few months ago. And um, yesterday she came over with this card for Tim. And so the backstory is her dad was visiting once and he was pulling out of the driveway and he happened to see Tim and he stopped and said, I know you. And they figured out you that, worked at Starbucks. Yes. <laughs> so he knew Tim as a priest on the other side of town, not anywhere near a here. Barista, but not a priest. <laughs> barista. <laughs> I think you said Back then from the day, you know. Um, so they just had fun reminiscing. Well, she came over with this card, and I just need to read it. So I just thought, how sweet is this? And it just again speaks of community. Tim, thank you for always looking out for me. I appreciate all the help you've given me, especially over the last six months. My dad always said you were the nicest person I would ever meet, and he wasn't kidding. <laughs> thank you. So nice. But talk about, you know, getting wonderful cards and messages and the messages we get from you guys online just makes our day. So I just had to point that out. I just know the power of encouragement <laughs> in this day. So I think that's really cool. <laughs> So Karen, you're still on bed rest, but are are you doing well? Is your recovery going well? So I can't wait till you can be doing more. That is just wonderful. And thanks you guys for sharing. That is the very best thing, Jean, for just sharing. I'm going to, because we're going to start with cards. Of course, since we're talking about cards, just love to start with that. And this is a thank you from um, a card from Terry Fingerholz who just stopped by yesterday to pick something up. And I wanted to point out this um how fun this is. We'll just with, do you see how this is run through the embossing folder? But it's just two parts. You could do this with designer series paper with anything, but I just love how it's just in two strips and back. Just a very simple card design, and it's just really lovely. <laughs> Amelia, that's wonderful. She said she shared. She can't wait to see what we make today. Oh, that's wonderful. We're so glad to have you here. Our next card is from Patricia Seifert. Oh, and this was a paper pumpkin. Tim opened this and brought it to me. He said, this is such a great card. And I thought, isn't that cool? Where did this come from? And I said, this is, um, it was not a kit that I actually put together, but I think that's what it is. And isn't that a great card? I mean, it Paper is. Pumpkin really has some awesome cards for some quick cards on that. You're in a league of your own. That's really fun. And was it to me? Yes. Yes, it was to you. And yeah. nice messages. And from Maggie Hip Hicks from Minnesota. Oh, and Patricia is from New York. Karen, what are you oh, doing? Oh, 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 this is Maggie Hicks, and she's known for her confetti. Oh, so Tim was going to make a point. <laughs> okay, there's more in there. Okay. Oh. oh. Nope, it all fell out. <laughs> but how cute is that? Maggie. <laughs> and this was a, an anniversary card. It says, sorry it's late, but how wonderful is that? And I just want to point out how simple this card is and how pretty. Two punched hearts. And do you see how she's just wrapped the twine, and then she's got a little bowl there? Isn't that isn't that Very a nice. great card? And she puts it under a piece of paper. Cheryl is watching us from her husband's hospital room. I sure hope he is doing well. So, and thanks, Diana. What a sweet comment. <laughs> and Cheryl appreciates how positive we are. No matter what's going on, we handle it with grace. Well, maybe you don't see the behind the scenes, but no, thank you. I will take that. And Tim is really crabby. <laughs> but we... Just know okay, that wait, each gotta, day is gotta, a gift, I and each the, day together is <laughs> not the, to be taken for granted. Maggie. From Texas, Leona McAdams, and I love the birds. That's really pretty, and it looks like it's just colored in with pencils. 
And this is to Karen. Oh, and this one's to me. Lovely. Oh, and it does open. Oh, see, and it's a flat card. I should know these. See, it can trick me up too. I was just waiting. I thought the whole thing was going to fold them. Isn't that great? Oh, I love that. It's a double fold open. See, I always beautiful. Thank you. I always check these out when they come in. <laughs> I figured it out right away. Tim, Tim loves to um, open things and figure them out, and I don't usually see them. So, and this next one is from oh another one from Terry Fingerholt. So she mailed one, and then she brought one over when she brought something. Oh, this is an anniversary card. How fun is that? And this is and Tim did bring this in because he said, "How is this it. done?" It's but really do you see cool. how that's embossed in white? And then it's colored over, so it picks up some of the colors, and it just makes it look really unique. It's like kind of an interesting watercolor look, and yet it's very unique because the word, the birds, you know, you just kind of see the parts. So embossed in white, so the white was sticking up. Yep. And then you just and it's the darker green than around it, like oh. here too. It's the darker brown around the wood. Very, very nice. cool idea. And here, by staying in the lines, it's just the yellow, but in the white so really a cool technique Thank and you, Terry. then Terry and Tom and we have two cards from Beverly Driver from Minnesota and these are beautiful cards and I'm going to show them side by side and which is a really nice nice note yes. but yes we'll take that I'm going to show them side by side because I think it's so fun oh that's really fun how she did the inside I think it, I you know one of the things I was just love is you know seeing how we all kind of have our own styles and i love these are probably made around the same time the same thing but aren't they just really pretty so it's like variations on a theme and it just very much looks like uh like the same, same person would do it and i love that i love taking out my stuff and then well as you know because <laughs> i do that almost every time and then i'll make a variety of cards out of that and i just love how these look side by side so two beautiful cards. So thank you, Beverly. So that's just so fun to see. And we'll just notice those fun little I know. things it's, in the back. And yeah. I like how she did the inside too. Yeah, that is cool. So she used some of the paper to wrap around that. Yep. So yeah. awesome cards, you guys. That is just great. I told Karen, I said, Karen, we got our first Christmas card. Yes, yeah, but no. We did. Well, we did. Oh, we I guess did. it is a Christmas card. See, Christmas and anniversary. And look at same colors. And, you know, I, I just love the versatility of what we do. I know. Same, same. So that is on. awesome. Okay. And I'm going to tell you something that has been so much fun. We have just the best host code this month. And we have three great sentences to bring to it. Two I shared last time. I'm going to share them again because th these are all so appropriate. I just get such a kick out of these. Amanda Bach just, uh, just sent me one. And this totally fits into, remember Tim's rooster? We did all these rooster things and he's, we're giving away this rooster, rooster thing today. So anyway, this is what you put. Surely chickens and hens yodel when x-raying <laughs> eggs. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> Tim, is that perfect? I said, that's, 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 just, that is that's great. just perfect for Tim. I just thought and that I is know. just hilarious. I know they do because I grew up on a farm with chickens. So Surely chickens and hens yodel when x-raying eggs. <laughs> You know, we always love getting sentences with these. And then Char sure put, mm -hmm. I got the same one, but you just do expelling eggs. <laughs> okay. okay. So Jim's variation on your theme, Amanda. I said, this is always, I just, we get such a kick out of this. Char sure put, stamping cards absolutely helps you with expressing encouragement. And I think that could be, you know, our theme statement and our, just our, our theme, because it does. And over in the back porch stampers, all the things that we do. I just love or that. Or expelling. <laughs> expelling. Okay, Tim's going to be stuck. He's got a new word of the day here. And then Renee Parisi put stamp cards and hide yuckies with Xerox ephemera. <laughs> and I love that too. So these are all so, so perfect for our life. I think this is just really, <laughs> this is really wild. Well, welcome, France. She said this is her first time watching a live. Well, thank you. <laughs> People are loving the phrases, I think. The yodeling chickens every time. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, and something about stamping with extra energy. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Keep sending sentences because we just love it. I just think that is such a fun thing. And the winner of this week's stamp set is Luba Balix. And you just message me your address and we'll pop it in the mail. We loved, I was gonna, but I ran out of time. I was gonna put down a whole bunch of comments that people were making about the roosters and sharing rooster stories 
one person was sharing about how she just was terribly afraid of their rooster because he'd always come out after her. And that was so much fun reading all that. And I think, yeah, they're kind of they a... Me. Yeah. yeah, so that's pretty fun. So this was fun. So I thought, we'll keep this going for a while. So this week, and all you need to do to enter is just to leave a comment either on YouTube or on something on the back porch, e either one under the video. And you have you have a whole week to do it. Um, I thought we and these are all retired stamp sets. That's just kind of what I do. I have extra things, so instead of selling them, I, you know, I love to give but them you're away. You're giving another one of my favorites. Well, and this is wildly happy. And the reason I thought we had to do this one today is because the paper we're using. This Karen is wildly happy. Has this cute little guy in it that looks like this but we'll find it when we come across it. i'm going to show you guys know it doesn't okay. have a baby but it has the other so i'm going to set that aside okay. so, so hang on to that i will set and i have two more quick announcements product shares that means paper shares and product shares are open i'll put a link so you can do that and tomorrow night starts our weekend tower class and this is two of the cards this i actually did a video on but you know we're going to do another variation because that's what we do we are doing five different tower cards, including this one. So this one and four more. So they're like variations on a theme. This is another one. You get the PDFs uh, forever and the videos. And really, we just have a lot of fun. It's only $15 a month if you sign up for the All Good Cards Club. And you can quit anytime. So you could take this one class and then quit. Um, you're totally good. But I'm really excited about the classes, about the cards we're making this weekend. And it's just so fun to hang out with you guys. It's just one more time to be connected. So and another Karenism. Mm -hmm. Totally. No, what did you say? I just forgot. I don't it. even know. Totally. <laughs> totally what? <laughs> I don't even said. I don't know. I, don't I forgot. Right. So I can see it when we see it. But um, since we were just talking about this being the baby set, see, I'm going to combine a couple of ideas here. Because I turned this paper into a little baby set. I just think mm -hmm. this is so cute. Congratulations on your growing family. And this is the paper I'm doing. This, guys, this is a free paper coming up in celebration. So, uh, and we have almost all the catalogs sent out. Oh, Tim has been so busy running to the post office I at have. least once a day. So we're getting them out. But when I'm talking about papers today that you can either fussy cut the images or there might be a punch to go with it, that's what we're focused on because we're using the images. This is about how to use the images and then create a bunch of fun cards. You do not need to use even Stampin' Up! paper. Any, just look at any of your pattern paper that has some fun images to work with. That's kind of the fun of what we do with creating because we want to see lots of your ideas over in the back porch stampers. So that is the challenge this week, just to post any card. They don't even have to be my layouts. It's just start with your image. And so what I did, I had put a picture up because I just fussy cut. I fussy cut when Tim watches TV at night. I just fussy cut a whole bunch of images and then I sat down and created and we made like nine cards. And this paper is gonna be free with a $50 order and it goes beautifully with the penguin set. So these are the sides that you would fussy cut and then look at the fun. I just love how Stampin' Up! does this. So these are just sides that go well with it. So this is the paper that we're gonna be using. You can set that aside. And we're gonna start with this card. We're gonna make nine cards. And so when I was making these, I just kind of laid them all out and then thought about what I wanted to do with them. So some of them I have parts done, some I'm doing from scratch. It's just a whole variety here. And I'm just going to tell you kind of my little tips along the way. You guys know that I love glue dots. So this is how I put cards together. I do this part at the table because I will use either glue or snail. Then when I finish putting cards together, this is what I do at night in my Lazy Boy while Tim... Watch this, team. isn't it, Tim? I have my little, my little thing because I like to be working on something. I use glue dots all the time. So notice, I just put four in the corner. I'm going to do the same with this. Sometimes, if this is thinner, you can kind of see glue dots through it. So I'm just going to put these where the heart is stamped, or I would put it where the words could be. But by doing this, you're never going to see it. So I, then I stamped this up. I'm going to put that on. And then I can sit and play with these. And so these are going to use, okay. Oh, they're right here. I said, I know I have them. When Karen is putting these together and I'm watching TV, 
this might be TMI, but but I like to. Oh yeah, I, I get I can't foot rubs. Still. He can't. Tim is I can't ADD. I, I don't know if we so talked about I, that much. In addition to not reading, he's he's very distractible, as you can tell. So I. He's always giving me a leg rub, a foot rub, bringing me tea, or, jumping up and down. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's one arm rub, you name it. So I said, it's just wonderful, whatever I'm not using. Okay, I'm gonna let you put these on. I'm gonna do this part. We're gonna, we're gonna share this and I'll actually take these off because I don't feel like this. And you're gonna create this card. See, and you can make them different. And I just love that there are these two penguins. There's actually three penguins on this paper. And then there's this little, this little one, which just made me think, baby. This is which one's the little one? This that one's one. the little one. And I think this is just a cute little congrats card. Oh, and someone else is new to the group. I just saw that, but then it went by to ah, Tammy. Welcome from Washington State. Love that. Love that. Love that. And um, Sue says a new grandbaby coming, so she can use the well happy. But, but isn't that great? I just think so. This is a fun kind of theme. So there is card number one. And doesn't this background, I mean, it just works. So there's card number one. Now let's do one that has that very same background. I'm going to show the cards and then I'll, then we can kind of put them together. But I thought, so look at this, we're using the same thing. I love, there are two different polar bears that are easy to cut out, if you notice, because this it's big. It's a nice big image. And so we're doing this is interesting, Tim. We're going to do this. Oh, we have an extra paper there. I'm going to put this on. We're going to do teamwork today. And you're going to assemble. How does that work? Okay. But does it require being put on straight? No. Oh, it's crooked. It's, but you, it's also your card. So if you can quickly think of another idea, go for it. You know, this is all about... Um, this is just all about creating. And I love, you know, once I had all these things sitting on my table and then I had my papers, it's just fun to sit and create and see what else you can come up with. And the point of these cards, you know, they kind of come from the image. It's not so that, really much different than yours. Okay, well, here's, and here's the bear. And this, to the coolest friend ever, I love those words. Is and that, that's from the cute that, little penguin set. Is that different set. enough? Upside down, I love it. You know what? That's perfect. It's like doing headstands. And you know what? That would fit like to the coolest kid ever. That would be coolest friend ever. That would be somebody who's doing something a little unique. I love it. It's perfect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ooh, Terry had a granddaughter about three months old. Oh, all the people talking about grandkids. Grandkids are so, so special. Oh, I love it. So look at that different. So even when you cut out your papers and you have them and you start assembling, look at what different things you can do. I like yours better. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of looks like it's sliding down the hill or falling off yeah, the cliff. Yeah, I think it looks like it's celebrating. Yeah. You know, because it's like doing cartwheels. I want to point out, you know, sometimes when we have gems, this is one from those um, purple dots, whatever, they seem kind of big to use on cards. See, and I love using them on cards like this because this is already popped up. So this isn't so big. Like if I put this on top of the bear, then it's really big. But this card I could send inside out or just put a thing in front and it's not going to be too much of a big thing, if that makes sense. <laughs> LeVar says the handstand is so you, Tim. Yeah. It would be Tim in his dreams. But yes, he would, he would love to be doing that. And you know what? Uh, yes. Tim has been experiencing back problems. And he said, one thing, he's got to learn to not feel do like he's 30. Grandsons. Well, to not act like he's 30 when the grandson is over, you know. He just doesn't have to run after those fly balls anymore, you know. But I do. <laughs> but, you know, I'm you get into the spirit of it. Oh, you get in. Uh, since we're talking about grandkids, you kind of get into that, you know. And here's the other bear. I think these are just adorable. These Both of these bears are in here. Mm -hmm. And, again, super easy fussy cutting. A lot of the dyes that I'm using on these, I believe these are from the In Good Taste or in the, no, what is, someone needs to look that up. Is it In Good Taste, whatever it, it's got a set of dyes of all different shapes. And I used a lot of these in making these cards. I have a whole little bundle I put together um, from that stamp set. I run all them through together. And then I have a little pile of different sizes to use for cards. So then I lay that out too. So just for another little thing. Okay. But do you see how we still have this pink card, but now we're kind of changing colors. 
Oh, I forgot to, I forgot to score this. And because it's folded this way, this will still work. I can just do this and that'll still make a nice fold. And then here, I'll put the measurements, you know, these will all be on my blog, but I'm also just telling you the measurements don't really matter. You see, I just built this. I just kind of decided, I often, when I'm using paper like this, will decide that, uh, well, what's gonna make good use of the paper? Like I don't really wanna do three and a quarter inches when my paper's 12 inches wide, three inches when possible is much better because I'm gonna get better things out of it, okay? You're gonna put that one on and then this one you're gonna tear. Okay. Okay, put, put, um, But you wanna tear it. No, I'm good, oh. oh. You, you, you wanna tear it first, I think, or you'll be tearing the tape. I think this was a good idea. We'll see how much longer it takes, you know, while we wait for Tim to come up with everything. Okay, you're gonna tear this. Okay, that's torn. Then, then okay. I can do this one, okay. Okay, so this goes on here. Mm -hmm. I need tape on the top of that. Okay. I'm messing it up. I'm not doing what Karen wants me to do. <laughs> Karen has no plans. We're good with that, so <laughs> it all works. <laughs> And you don't even need the top if you want to just left like that and like no. snow. If you, do you want well, to ignore know. the top? You can do whatever you want. So how do you do it? You got to put it underneath. <laughs> Most people would have put that on first, but you well, know, hey, <laughs> but it is your card. <laughs> this is called the tuck under technique. Okay, then you no. can tear the top. That works, but you can tear the top, okay. and then that will be interesting. Sure. Why not? You know? Why not? <laughs> and we may just have to send it all the cards that Tim makes today. That looks Ooh. great. See, that's interesting. That then is. we have the bear. And then we're making nine cards. Did I say that? So I said so. See, I really got on a roll with doing these. <laughs> okay, and you might want your friend on the inside, or is there room for it? You decide. Because <laughs> he's cute without it, so it's, it's all good, whatever you want to do. Yeah, that works. Okay, and then we'll we'll put this one on. So I hope some of you are thinking about what paper you have that you're going to use. If you know what you're going to use, put it in here because it might give other people some ideas. Okay, so here is our next one. So it's the ideas behind anything with images and how we can build cards with that. that. How That's fun. No. Now this next one probably doesn't have a whole lot of room for change. But, change. <laughs> but I wanted to point this one out. Watch me. Oh, yeah, watch me. <laughs> because, and you see, I'm the, to the coolest friend ever. But this is actually one of the papers. And I thought, now, this was too small for me to think of fussy cutting. But by using one of the stitched rectangles, it just makes a cool picture because we've got the fox sitting there and we've got them building the snowman. Hmm. So I thought that just kind of made sense. So you could put these on cattywampus or straight or do anything you want. You're just going to start building this. So let's okay. do it different. We won't add the string. You can do whatever you want with this. But that's another fun idea to do with a paper where the paper can kind of just stand alone like that. Anyway, oh, Sean loves the hilly look of your last card. So see, oh, so that's good. all good. <laughs> Yes, you guys are enjoying Tim's version. Someone suggested that Tim keep that rooster set and do, design his own set of cards. And I said, you know, kind of misses the point because Tim isn't actually a stamper. He only likes hanging out with you guys and making cards, but he would never make cards otherwise. That's right. <laughs> so he, he's just in it for the social part. See, he's going to make that fox kind of stand alone. Well, it's kind of dangerous, isn't it? Yeah, see? Well, and then it might be special. That might be the coolest friend ever. Just really set apart. Don't you think? Maybe. I think that could be cool. Here, I'll put some tape on that. <laughs> this is a good way to do it. I don't have to have Tim do anything ahead. And he can just wing it because he's the wing it man. That used to be That's his right. thing too. Okay, and now we can put it on this. What is Sarah's sister's? Daughter. No, her daughter. daughter. Called, names Sarah's Tim the Wing It Man, and that has stuck. 
Yeah, so we need to bring that back because I said it's a perfect name for him. Mary said she's hooked on the pa uh, pattern party paper. Yes, that's a wonderful paper to use. And that is the paper that is just really a deal that you get as a host thing. See, now how cool. Hey, cool. Those are so fun. All right, now here's our next one. And now you're going to see why I had to bring this out. Look how cool this is. Oh, my goodness. See how, how similar get, that is and made me think of that. How did you get the baby out of there? Yeah, <laughs> this is just from this paper. So this is nothing oh, to the see. stamp set, but it reminded so, <laughs> me between the baby card and this. Okay, I thought you were I was going to Tim, I should have told you that was yeah. your job yeah, to figure to that out. But it made me think of the stamp set, and I said, yeah. oh, this is the next one we need to give away. I had to <laughs> look at that. But again, really a simple card. And it doesn't need the black. I made it first without, but I decided to put the black on because then I thought I'd make one without the black on. And now that Tim is going to make it, we have no idea what Tim is going to do. Black on. Um, there's a bad, but I think again, just an easy, this time I've taken paper from, it's the new autumn paper. It's the harvest because in this paper, there wasn't a back that had the, this is Calypso coral. So I just looked for something, but I thought this was great because it kind of looks like little branches. So it totally fit and it was the right color. So Tim is going to do that. Um, so where did I, here they go. Just can't lose all this stuff, you know? Our messy, messy desk. <laughs> yeah, the black does make the fox pop. Okay, so that's gonna go on there. And then that whole thing can go in here. Now watch this. I did it this way on purpose because I didn't want to smush this and I forgot to add that first. So you can put that on there however you want. But, but this isn't black though. No, we don't have black, so we're going to have to wait so and assemble like later this? if you want black. Just like that, yeah. And the reason I did, I'm going to notice on mine, these came out to the edges. So the white actually made an extra border. Yours didn't come to the edges, so I don't know that it, it is really necessary, but we could. Now, we'll wait. We'll wait and add black. That's not the right color. Come yeah, on. That's going to bother come me. On. It's just not the right color. color blend. doesn't matter. Okay. okay, so we can add so black she, to that. <laughs> so she only gives me so much leeway. <laughs> Well, we need the right color. <laughs> no, we don't. When you're colorblind, it doesn't matter. <laughs> and then here is my, here is the next little enjoy today. Okay, I thought this was a perfect sentiment. Oh. Because this would also be a cute baby card, but I thought this was like enjoy today to, to send a card to someone who's been really, really busy lately. <laughs> and then you know they're going to have some downtime. How cool is that? Enjoy today. You know, just... Sleep away. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> See, it, it's got to have black, Karen. It doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll set that aside and we'll add black. But mm -hmm. I love that idea. It's not a, a, a cute idea. Okay, so these are those cards. And then the next thing we're going to do. I thought we were done. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to add some other paper. And what I find is interesting is that this paper, this is the Peaceful Place paper. Mm. And it's actually very elegant, so it's not necessarily what you think about putting these, but I wanted the silver looks. I wanted to show. Look at how pretty these are. And you mm. can just add an image there. I mean, these are just gorgeous Ooh. scrapbookers. Oh, my goodness. Got some gorgeous things right here. So we have all of this, and then we have oh, all of that. Whoops. <laughs> and the back sides. I'm going to look at those. The cabins, the trees. Trees again here. You know that, Love the check. You know what that's called? The A-frame? Yeah. Yeah. How cool is that? So we're actually going to use this fancy paper with these cute figures. Oh, Sandra, that is wonderful. She's giving her daughter a baby shower soon, and the theme is woodland creatures. Ooh. Oh, how cool is that? And you want Tim to make the cards for you. Yeah. But message me. Message me if you have questions. Uh, you can message me here, or my email is ktstamp at usinfant. Or my cell com. phone is. <laughs> so now we're going to show what we did with these and kind of how we came about it. And again, how cute is this? So this little snowman is in that same stamp set we're doing. And I just loved it with the trees. Mm -hmm. So what I did with this one is this is, I believe this is, 
I'm not even sure why this is, but I just wanted to show you how I figured this out. It is, I guess it's two and three quarters, but you'll notice I wanted to kind of a size like this. So I took this paper and I cut off right below here. I'm going to cut off even a little more. And then when I was designing my card, I decided how high to go. And so you can see I'll get two out of this thing right here. And see, this is how I measure. Just put my finger there. <laughs> it's called hit and miss. And then you guys want me to put the patterns in. Well, I'm just showing you how I, <laughs> how I originally come up with it. <laughs> Karen is a perfectionist. And most of what I do is the same thing. Not. You can take the idea. Oh, see, and this is going to be shorter. And it's okay. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to trim this off a little bit. This is like playtime. Playtime with Karen. So sometimes measurements are overra overrated. Just keep that in mind because your card can be your own. But I thought, isn't that okay. cool? I think you need to add a little to the bottom of this. No, we don't. Okay, that is that one. And then we'll see. The trick will be if it looks good on here. And it does. Because you know what's going to be interesting is this is going to have a wider, mm -hmm. but let's go ahead and do it this way just to kind of, because it kind of shows the point of how you can have all these things that vary because this time that's just going to be a bigger thing. So I'll actually finish up this card since that's what we're showing. Because <laughs> we're not supposed to be creative with this. It's supposed <laughs> to just no, be, but be I'm just it. looking at the time, and you know they kick us off if we go too long. So oh, we have plenty of time. Okay, see, I'm not even going to finish putting this together. But how fun is that? Isn't that a, a fun easy card? And you know they're actually very similar. This whole thing could be made smaller. I kind of like, I like the taller tree there, and this got taller. I should have cut off from this side if I was trimming a little more. If I was, if I were planning that, but. And I like less. Oh, and less, there's a little more of this on the bottom. I yes, and yeah. I like less blue. This and you like less blue. Okay. Too much blue. Okay. Okay. And I think, you know, if you're going to make a bunch of cards, the other thing that is fun, I'll often find that I make a couple variations, and then you do decide what it is that you like best. So that is very fun. should move the guy in so he doesn't lose his hand. And now look at this one. I love this one. Look, we have the trees. So there are the trees up in the woods. And now we have another of the little fox. And he's just racing down the hill. And I love the words with this. You truly inspire me. <laughs> I thought, you know, just someone who's doing something fun and fun and different. Oh, Lou likes it with more blue. So isn't that fun? Mm. So isn't that fun that we can just have such fun differences here? Okay, I'm going to let you work on putting this together. And this is actually the new velvet paper. I don't think oh, uh, this will really do it justice. Oh, <laughs> this may be a totally different card. Well, it's accident. It's an accident. Oh, is it a happy accident? No. Or no? no, it's a <laughs> terrible accident. It's, it's okay. We can always do it later. So this is the velvet paper. And I just cut it the width of this. Okay, we did it. Okay. And then I can just make... I'm just going to cut this off because I can make, I'm going to, let's make a really steep hill this time. Okay. To see how we can just make several of these. Yeah. <laughs> He's having trouble with this card. Well, this one is not any, it's, Karen, there's not, there's not much of a line. No, there's there. not much of a line there. And you know how we fix that? Yes. We get a cutter. Yeah, but it's a little sticky now. So you want to know how I would how, how I fix this? How would you fix it? I'm going to put this on. Yep. We're just going to have a thicker card. So this is just going to be a, a lesson in here, okay? Because now I'm going to, because this is too sticky and I don't want to go to all the work of unsticking it, I'm going to put that up into the corner. Ooh. And then I'm just going to cut this down and we'll just have a thicker Ooh. card. If it doesn't get too thick to mail, we are just fine. So this is how we we fix mistakes. <laughs> so you get rid of. <laughs> but otherwise, for me, the paper, the cutter gets all sticky and then gets really hard. And then we're just going to cut a new black piece. Oh. So we're just going to pretend with this card because some of this needs to be behind the scenes, you know. Okay. So this card will be rescued to look somewhat okay. like this card. Now, does this fax go both directions or is this only 
one direction. It just goes one direction. Because if it went the other direction, I would have it going, running uphill. But Oh, but but we could cut paper on this yes. and going uphill. Yes. And that could be a good encouragement card. Yes. You know, when, like, but so it's, it's all just kind of what you're going to do with these. So how fun is that? Like the little train that could. Yes. Okay, we're getting towards the end. <laughs> we may or may not finish these last ones, but I think that's that's fine. He could also be dumping for excitement. Maybe he went <laughs> off the shoot, Tim. You know, like yes. um, the hill, those big whatever they call them. You know, the ski, the ski yeah. things, and he's flying in midair. That would work yes. too. Winter Olympics. A flying squirrel. Yes, yes. This could be a great <laughs> Olympics card. Sure, sure. Uh -huh. It's a fox. A fox. What did I call it? A squirrel. <laughs> a squirrel. <laughs> A flying squirrel. Okay. Well, no, it's a uh, no, it's much cuter than a squirrel. Okay. <laughs> so here's the next one. And I think this is card is so fun. We made these. If any of you have been around a long time ago, years ago, I made a bunch of these with little igloos. The igloo is made out of the brick wall embossing folder. Hmm. Look at that. Isn't that cool? It is. And I just freehand cut it. Now you could use circles or ovals, but I like the idea of it just being a, a freehand cut. And I'll still get one more kind of smallish one, but I, you know, just right in there because you know I did these before I had a plan. Okay, just a second. Why can't you just do it like that? Oh, because it's the wrong way. Because the bricks, it, it just yeah. you know maybe if you have kind of an odd igloo builder, yeah. it would work. Or from somebody from South Florida that's never seen snow before. Yes, but if you notice, oh, and this time I'm missing. Well, some of these we're going to just be visualizing, okay? Because we'll just go through parts of this, because this time I'm missing the white. <laughs> That's okay, Jim, you might really be off the hook. But notice this is the same paper pack. And I just think this is a great paper pack to fit in with this. So you can see how this is going to just be the igloo. And this, to the coolest friend ever, getting a lot of mileage out of that. Just going to tear that and put that on wherever. I might want to tear it more. But how fun is that? And then it's just adding. Mm -hmm. And then it's just adding this guy. You just need room for this guy, wherever you want to put him. Mm -hmm. Isn't that cool? This one actually goes with the penguin punch. So you can punch that out with a punch. And I just think on um, an eagle card again. And, I, you know, to the coolest friend ever, it's just the perfect thing, but this could be anything. Can I just, <laughs> can I just say that I would actually use a punch to do that. I'm kind of. Because you're kind of fussy and you kind of don't like that. Yeah, I've got a kind of a perfectionistic. Bench. So we have a question here about wondering what stars is all about. And you guys, I wish I could tell you the answer. I know when I get a bunch of stars, I got a message from Facebook that I earned a dollar and 21 cents. Whoa. So I'm not exactly even sure what that means, but it has, I don't, you know, sometime we'll have to figure that out. But if anyone knows, but I thought that's how much I know. It was just this little surprise. So um, it is something about that, but we, we love hearts, stars, you name it, comments. We love it all. And then the last card. What, there's more? <laughs> the last card, I, I just wanted to show this one. We've got the fox again. <laughs> And I didn't have tons of time Ooh. to kind of work on this, but this is using the picture this dies. So we have these two dies in it. And I thought, is that fun? Very fun. And it's and this shows you all the different little. We've got the three, the fox in the thing, and then we have these little ones. So I was just going to show a little bit of how I made that, and then this is the die. So on this, oh, what's that? Especially like that with a tail coming out the other. That's and so what I did, that so that kind of cool. fit right in there. Whoops, I guess it fits that way. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is what I did to kind of hold it. I wanted to just kind of hold it there. So I just put a little glue dot. This is just how I was imagining doing this. Yeah, I think it's something about that you would buy stars and it's like a dollar. It's real, they're they're really cheap and you get lots and lots of stars and then you give stars out. It's a way of thanking people who are doing videos or doing lives. It, it, it's a way of thanking people. That's what it is. So, um, but that's as much of it as I know. Okay, that's just going to hold it in place. And then let's see, I think this one will be 
that one to be okay there. I'm going to put this one here. And if I want to hold that in place, I'll just stick a little. It's just helping me just kind of figure out where I want to put these. Of course, words could go in here. Oh, I just kind of stuck. I wanted part of it out and part of it in, sort of my, my plan here. And then on these. And this is all fussy. Right? Those are all fussy cut. And then these, like I wanted this to go in here. Well, it's going to be around this part that I'm going to care about. So around this part, I'm going to cut and make sure it will fit in there. And yes, it does. So now I just want to hold a little placeholder on that. I'll put that in there and I'll put him. Or her. Whoops, I need to see there's too much showing down here. So I'm going to cut that off. This is just this is just kind of like putzing around figuring out what's going to work. That's exactly what I did. So that goes in there. And then I did the same down here. And this time it's going to be around the side and the top that are going to matter. Let's see how this works. Looks Beautiful. good. So I can put this down there and I can close that up. Just so exacting. Then I took this and just flipped it over. It's okay. This one can just be in here. Except I have to make sure I have it right side up. Or it will be Tim's little flip thing, and that works too. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a little bit of this on the outside because I want just a teeny bit to stay on the outside. I want these ears on the outside. Okay, then I just put this down, and then I just put these all over. How cool. So this one kind of goes through the, and then I did them in the four corners too, flipped it over on white, add a little ribbon, and that's how that one is done. So I'm going to put all these, let's just put all the cards out here, all the different, different ones. So I hope this has inspired you to think of what paper you have. Now you're going to want to come to the back porch stampers and put up cards that you make, and it is anything that really is highlighting the an image from there. So it's using images and look how quick the rest is just fill in, put out your papers and you get to just play and fill in with things. So um, thanks you guys. Yes, this was sink and cute paper. This is so true. And it is part of um, celebration, but there are lots of other papers that would be just adorable. So we can't wait to see what you share. And then I'll see a bunch of you in class this weekend. Uh, we appreciate you all. Thank you so much. This was fun. <laughs> it was fun. Thanks for and, spending time with us. And I didn't practice ahead of time. <laughs>